Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about dynamic help tax in ScreenFlow using LWC. Suppose we have a scenario in ScreenFlow where we need to show dynamic help tax for an input. Whatever value is entered in the input, the help tax so they earn that value. So I can implement this using LWC. So there is a number type of input field and help tax so the tax based on the input entered and uh, let's see in the action so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side so let's get started without any further delay so first of all let me create one lwc component so i'm using window just press ctrl c p and create lightning web component let's say help tax demo something like that okay so now you can see my lwc component is created successfully under this xml file i need to configure this one so let's say true and uh, after that i need to take uh, you know targets everything okay so how to do that very simple just let enter this one after that target under this target I need to use the screen flow so let me enable it okay and also I need to add uh, some target configs so based on the target config it could be uh, visible for our configuration okay so after that we have to use like target config like target config under this target config uh, we have to use like target uh, which uh, flow so we have to use only this property let me remove the rest of the property and after that we have to create like property and property name and a help tax message for example like help tax message and the type is string type description you can add the description otherwise leave it as it is so once you added this uh, target config you have to close it and let me save this one and here you can see my configuration file this is metadata file and I can use this component inside my screen flow, home page, app page and record page. Suppose I, I don't want to use uh, this component inside home page, app page and record page. Just comment out this one and uh, it's only applicable for the screen flow. So here you can see this one, right? After that, you have to create one public property inside JS file. So under here, I need to use public property so public property always use at the rate api tag right and after that we have like uh, just please focus on that, that one so here you can see the name right help text tax message so just copy this one paste it here and now you can see our property is ready right so it's an api so you have to import first in the module and now it's gone this error so here you can see at the rate API help text message. So once you've done it, you have to design your HTML files. So very simple uh, HTML. So we have to use like help text. So LWC colon help text. So now you can see the help text here, right? Contain, we can add the contain and uh, dynamically. So let me remove this uh, hard coded value and under the contain, we have to use that property inside uh, this HTML. So let me copy this uh, property and paste it here dynamically like this. So our help text contain is ready. And now it's time to use this component inside the screen flow. So now you can see my org is open here. And uh, once we open this org, just you have to create one screen flow. And let me deploy this component first. So now org is open and let me deploy this component. So just deploy it and once you deploy it, now you have to check this component inside, you know, org. So first of all, you have to open the flow. So just create the flow using this shortcut like flows. Click on this flows and it's open a new tab. Under this new tab, you have to create a screen flow and that screen flow can capture the input data and based on the input, we can show the, you know, help text. So just click on the screen flow. Under this screen flow, just let me add the component and that is called a screen here. And let's say screen one, for example. Under here, 
I need to add one number type of you know data so just you have to search under here let's say number just drag and drop here and please enter the number let's say please enter the number something like that right you can make it required based on your need otherwise leave it as it is okay so for now i'm using this required here and also i can use my you know custom component here so just collapse it and now you can see help text demo just drag and drop in the top of this one and here uh, help text is asking like property right help text so help text is very useful and here you can see the screen and you can enter this enter number or something like that right uh, formula field to check uh, this uh, you know help text count or something like that so for now i'm just using uh, here let's say lwc component lwc com something like that okay and just uh, under here let me create one you know formula field so just click on done for for now and under here in this section just you can see the new resource create the formula like formula and formula name it can be anything but you can create meaningful name let's say test value for something like that okay data type it's a text and formula is let's say text method right this is the text method under this text method i want to use uh, you know that uh, value as i enter in uh, my screen from the input so here you can see this one let me check this now you can see create the formula like this please enter the number and it's a valid index just click on done once you've done it just open your screen here under this screen if you enter something i want to show that tax here right so uh, test value you have to check this like this this is the expression we have already created this formula and i'm using this formula using this expression just click on done save it and enter here let's say help tax flow something like that using lwc using lwc okay now click on the save and once you save it just click on this debug option and once you debug your flow here just check each and every functionality regarding this flow and lwc so now my component is still loading the flow is loading click on this run and once you run it right now you can see this help text here right so just let me enter something here let's say 10 okay immediately you can see 10 contact record will be inserted if you remove something here let's say 5 and here you can see 5 contact record will get inserted so this is the help text dynamically dynamically comes from the lwc you can see if you enter something let's say 100 records okay once you mouse over you can see the 100 contact record will get inserted right so this is the help text using this lwc component and maybe in case or some scenario it will be helpful for you guys in a, in your project like that so please uh, share this video and please like share comments and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so i hope you like this video so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys